Say good morning. Do you want to show them who's on your shirt? I make you show. Is that you, Mickey shirt? I was going to start the vlog out in the car. Harbor really wanted to be a part of the video, but I figured I would start it with him because he really wanted to say hello. <laughs> he is so cute. Can you do your crabby dance again? Dance, 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 dance. You're so funny. <sighs> I figured I would come into the car because Harbor's just been needing a lot of attention recently. And we've just been trying to spend like one on one time with him because I feel like the first couple of weeks after everything happened, we just like didn't really do anything. And like he just felt like he really needed attention. But I thought that I would come out here with my shark i'm just kidding i'm out here and update you like how i'm feeling because i feel like i put out a vlog and then we haven't filmed in like i want to say like three weeks or something so we're just like really behind i don't know how to explain it everything just kind of like came in i guess i don't know but we've been doing good we've been getting things done like we painted our entire bathroom which i'm really really excited to show you guys because it's just it's looking so much better the white was like really old and just kind of getting grimy you know what i mean so it was a fresh fresh layer we did everything and it just looks so good and that like helped take my mind off of things and like give me something to do i really really liked that we've been doing a lot of fall stuff on september 1st we had a big fall party and we had like a big sleep out in the living room and we watched fall movies and had treats and it was just it was just really really fun it was nice to do something like cozy and just like with my family that has really helped to just like take family time as well but i wanted to update you guys on the big question that you guys have been asking about our fertility update because i know that like before we were talking all about that and we were supposed to try and get pregnant literally a week after my mom died but then obviously my mom died so we have stopped that fully we just don't feel ready for that right now and so that's why we haven't been putting updates about anything like that because i'm just like that's not something that i want right now it's not something that julia wants right now it's just like not on our radar and i feel really bad because i know a lot of you guys were excited and really like enjoying our journey and us talking about it and sharing all those like fun moments and we were too i mean don't get me wrong we really we love sharing those moments but yeah i mean it does suck like you know that was something that we wanted but i did want to like put that out there that we are not doing any treatments we canceled everything with our fertility clinic and um a partnership that we had coming up that was supposed to be baby related like you know that feeling that you get deep down in your heart or your gut it's just not something that's meant for us right now and i don't know when that's like will change you know i don't know if that's like a forever feeling for me i don't know if that's just a temporary feeling i just i can't imagine bringing another baby into this world without my mom i just feel like my anxiety has just been like getting really high i've been getting like really overwhelmed really easily and so it's been hard to like want to pick up the camera because i just feel like i already have this like big mental like load that i've been dealing with so that's kind of why i took a step back so that i could kind of like decompress de-whelm <laughs> would that be the word that guy sounds like de-worm you guys have helped me so much just with like kind dms on instagram and you guys have been amazing even just like sending me songs has been really like therapeutic for me because i will sit in the car for like an hour sometimes and just like listen to music and it's been really really therapeutic for me it's a good way for me to get like my emotions out but i also miss turning on the camera i feel like one thing that always makes me feel better is just filming content it's like something that i really really enjoy so i really hope that in these next upcoming weeks things start to like level out and feel like a little bit more normal i guess because i just i miss those moments i miss being able to just like vlog us doing our day-to-day -day life even if that's literally just like us going to the park or like having a picnic or whatever it may be but i know that fall is the best time for me that is when i feel the best that is just like the vibes are perfect so there's so many like fun fall things that i really 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 want to do with harbor and julia and we should probably vlog a lot of them because i think they'll be really really fun but i'm telling you fall is going to be my season i even have a note on my phone a list of fall movies and i've been putting a ghost next to ones that we probably wouldn't watch next year and then a pumpkin next to the ones that we would re-watch we haven't gotten very very far into our list yet but we have a long ways to go some of them are ones that just me and julia will watch and then some are that 
Harbor can watch. If you guys need some Halloween movies, I will leave my list below so that you guys can have some inspiration. But we have that and we just really want to do like maybe like a pumpkin patch because I don't think we got to do that last year. I can't remember. I feel like the pumpkin patch that was close to us closed down for whatever reason last year. I also did my nails yesterday, which I've been trying to do way more self-care things. And I'm obsessed with the bubble bath by OPI. I know everybody talks about it like on TikTok and stuff. I just did it myself, but okay, literally, also ignore that I don't have my ring on. I have to take it to the jeweler still. We're supposed to take it today and it's already 11. So I don't know, we probably won't do it today, but that's okay. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's like the perfect, just like pale pink that just makes your nails just look so good. So I'm gonna keep doing it because it was actually really easy. I only did one coat. I don't like doing more coats. One time I tried like two or three coats and I just didn't like the look of it. It looked too pink. So one coat is definitely how I like it, but also I'm really, really pale. So maybe it's just like too much for my skin if I do like more layers. That's pretty much it for the update. I've just been rotting away in my house watching movies and being cozy which is totally fine it's been so good for me I feel like I really really needed that and I've been in therapy and that's just emotionally well I was in therapy before all this happened but of course that took a, a little loopy lulu for my therapist when everything happened so it's been really emotional when I have these sessions which I have another one in an hour so that'll be really really fun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they just you feel drained after there's like a live mosquito on the windshield right now should I wash him off? Oh, sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry this is just kind of a sit down boring chat video. If you like these videos, let me know because I definitely can do more of them. Like even just like chatting while I do my makeup or something. Usually I'm just like nonsense talking to Harbor, but maybe we can turn the camera on and we can nonsense talk together. But thank you guys for being so supportive as always and just letting me come on here and chat and give you the updates. You guys have been sending me the nicest comments and they're just the best vibes. So keep them coming because I literally feel them. I feel the good vibes, like genuinely in my heart, I 100% feel them and I can feel all of you guys are rooting for me and wanting the best for me. And that feels really, really good to feel like I have you guys um, during this really hard time in my life. So I appreciate it. And I will let you guys know once we pick everything up in the fertility journey, if and when we do. So I'll see you guys. Thank you.